Good day to everyone. Today we are going to discuss linear programming, in particular graphing a feasible region. A feasible region contains the set of all feasible points based from a constraint and the non-negativity constraint. So we have this particular problem with us today to maximize z equal to 20x plus 25y subject to 2x plus 3y should be less than or equal to 180 and 3x plus y should be less than or equal to 60. So these are the two constraints for the problem and we also have our non-negativity constraint which states that both x and y should be greater than or equal to zero. So uh, let's try and graph our two uh, constraints now. So we have x equal to zero to get a y-intercept, which is y is equal to 180 all over three, which is equal to 60. And if we now set uh, another variable equal to zero, in this case y, we can solve for x. So we have 180 over two, which would be equal to 90. So let's now start graphing uh, our second constraint, which would be 3x plus y is equal to 60. We set x equal to 0, we get y is equal to 60. Then if we set now y equal to 0, we get uh, 60 all over 3, which is equal to 20. So we now have the points uh, to solve this problem, 0, 60, 90, and then 0. Then we have 0, 60 again, and then we have 20, 0. So uh, I'll bring up a graph now. So let's have uh, the red line uh, be equal to our first constraint, or at least represent our first constraint. So we have uh, 0, 60 for the first point in the line, and then we have 90, 0 for the second point in the line. And let's connect those two points now. So that represents our first constraint, which is 2x plus 3y should be less than or equal to 180. Then let's graph our second constraint. That would be our yellow line, which would be 0, 60. So we have that point again. And then we have 20, 0. So that's this point here. And if we connect, that represents our second constraint. So based on the constraint set, the first two constraints are the less than constraints, which means that everything that is on the left of these lines can be part of the feasible region. If the constraints are of the more than constraint, that means that everything that is on the right of each of these lines can be part of the feasible region. Now you can see that everything on the left of these regions should be possible feasible areas okay, for this particular problem. So for the first constraint and for the second constraint. So we need to satisfy both of these constraints, which means that this area right here is the feasible region. And that is how to graph the feasible region in linear programming.